I am totally adequate for all situations. Know that you are far more than you think you are. You are divinely protected. You are connected with infinite wisdom. You are never alone. You have everything you need. Of course you are adequate for all situations. I am one with the power and wisdom of the universe. I claim this power and it is easy for me to stand up for myself. I listen with love to my body's messages. At the first sign of the slightest dis-ease in your body, instead of giving money to the pharmaceutical companies, sit down, close your eyes, take three deep breaths and go within, asking, what is it I need to know? Because your body is trying to tell you something. If you rush to the medicine cabinet, you are in effect telling your body to shut up. Please listen to your body. It loves you. My body is always working toward optimum health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole, and complete. I express my creativity. Everyone has unique creativity within them. It is an act of loving ourselves to take the time to express this creativity no matter what it is. If we believe we are too busy to allow creative time, then we are missing a very fulfilling part of ourselves. My unique creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. I am in the process of positive change. We are always in the process of change. I used to make many negative changes. Now that I've learned to release old, outworn patterns, my changes are positive. I am unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express health, happiness, prosperity, and peace of mind. I accept my uniqueness. No two snowflakes are alike and no two daisies. Each person is a rare gem with unique talents and abilities. We limit ourselves when we try to be like someone else. Rejoice in your uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison, for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. All my relationships are harmonious. I see only harmony around me at all times. I willingly contribute to the harmony I desire. My life is a joy. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer, always. It is safe to look within. We often are frightened to look within because we think that we will find this terrible being. But in spite of what they might have told us, what we will find is a beautiful child that longs for our love. As I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. I experience love wherever I go. What we give out returns to us, multiplied and folded over. The best way to get love is to give love. Love can mean acceptance and support, comfort and compassion, kindness and gentleness. I certainly want to live in a world with these qualities. Love is everywhere and I am loving and lovable. Loving people fill my life and I find myself easily expressing love to others. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. We can't really love others till we love ourselves. Otherwise, what we call love is really codependency or addiction or neediness. No one can ever love you enough if you don't love yourself. You will always be saying things like, do you really love me? 
and there is no way you can satisfy another who does not love him or herself. There will be pouty silences and jealousy, so learn to love yourself and you will have a loving life. My heart is open, I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself, I love others, and others love me. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I use this affirmation a lot when I'm walking down a city street, and even though they don't hear it, it's wonderful to see how many people respond to me with smiles. Try it. This affirmation can really make your day when you're out and about. I radiate acceptance and I am deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me. I love and approve of myself. Out of self-approval comes only good. We're not talking about vanity or pride, for those are just expressions of fear. Loving yourself means cherishing and appreciating the miracle that you are. You do have value and self-worth. Love being you. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. I am a decisive person. It is really safe to make decisions. Make them with authority. If a decision turns out to be a poor one, then make another decision. Learn to turn within and do a short meditation when you need a solution. You have all the answers within you. Practice going within often and you will have a good, solid connection with your inner wisdom. I trust my inner wisdom and I make decisions with ease. I am always safe when I travel. You create your consciousness of safety and of course it will go with you everywhere, no matter what form of transportation you are using. No matter what form of transportation I choose, I am safe and secure. My level of understanding is constantly growing. When we understand more of life, we experience more of life's wonders. People who have a limited life have a very limited understanding. They see things in black and white, yes or no, and they are usually motivated by fear or guilt. Allow your understanding to grow and you will have a larger, more compassionate view of life. Each day I ask my higher self for the ability to deepen my understanding of life and to move me beyond judgment and prejudice. I now accept the perfect mate. Write down all the qualities you want in your ideal mate and then check to make sure that you are expressing those qualities too. You may need to make some inner changes before the right person can come in. Divine love now leads me to and maintains me in a loving relationship with my perfect mate. Security is mine now and forevermore. Our belief systems are always evident in our experiences. As we create safety and security in our minds, then we will find it in our world. Positive affirmations create a positive life. All that I have and all that I am is safe and secure. I live and move in a safe and secure world. World healing is in process now. Each one of us constantly contributes to world chaos or world peace. Every unkind, unloving, negative, fearful, judgmental, prejudicial thought contributes to the atmosphere that produces earthquakes, floods, drought, war, and other disasters. On the other hand, every loving, kind, peaceful, supportive, helpful thought contributes to the atmosphere that produces wellness and healing for all. What kind of a world do you want to contribute to? Every day I visualize our world as peaceful, whole, and healed. I see each person being well-fed, clothed, and housed. 
I bless our government with love. Our belief in a negative government produces just that. Do some positive affirmations for our government every day. I affirm that each person in our government is loving, honest, honorable, and truly working for the betterment of all people. I love my family. I have had hundreds of estranged families be lovingly reunited by doing this affirmation daily for three or four months. When we are estranged from our families, we often send a lot of negative energy back and forth. This affirmation stops that and opens the space for loving feelings to surface. I have a loving, harmonious, joyous, healthy family, and we all have excellent communication. My children are divinely protected. If we are fearful for our children, they often give us things to worry about. We want our children to feel free and secure in the mental atmosphere we surround them with. So always do positive affirmations for your children when you are apart. Divine wisdom resides within each of my children and they are joyous, safe, and secure wherever they go. I love all God's creatures, animals great and small. Every creature, every insect, bird, and fish has its own special place in life. They are just as important as we are. I communicate easily and lovingly with all living beings, and I know that they deserve our love and protection. I love experiencing my baby's birth. In the nine months before birth, talk and communicate with your baby. Prepare for the birthing experience so that it is an easy, loving experience for both of you. Describe the birth process to your baby in the most positive ways so that you can both cooperate with each other in supportive ways. Unborn children love to hear their mother sing to them and they love music too. The miracle of birth is a normal and natural process, and I go through it easily, effortlessly, and lovingly. I love my baby. I believe that we choose our parents, and we choose our children on a soul level. Our children have come to be our teachers. There is much we can learn from them, but most important is the love that can be shared. My baby and I have a joyous, loving, peaceful relationship. We are a happy family. My body is flexible. Keeping my mind flexible and agile is reflected in the flexibility of my body. The only thing that keeps us rigid is fear. When we truly know that we are divinely protected and safe, then we can relax and just flow with the effortlessness of life. Be sure to include dance time in your schedule. Healing energy constantly flows through every organ and joint and cell. I move easily and effortlessly. I am aware. Several times a day just stop and say to yourself, I am aware. Then take a deep breath and notice how much more you become aware of. There is always more to experience. I constantly increase my awareness of myself, my body, and my life. Awareness gives me the power to be in charge. I love to exercise. I expect to live a long time, and I want to run and dance and be flexible until my last day. My bones get stronger when I exercise and I have found lots of different ways to enjoy movement of all kinds. Movement keeps us moving in life. Exercise helps to keep me young and healthy. My muscles love to move. I am an alive person. Prosperity is my divine right. Most people get angry when they first hear that money is the easiest thing to demonstrate, but it is true. But we must release our negative reactions to it and our negative beliefs about it first. 
It is easier to teach a workshop on sexuality than on money. People get incredibly angry when their beliefs about money are challenged. The people who want money the most fight the hardest to hold on to the limiting patterns. What is your negative belief about money that is keeping you from having some? I deserve and willingly accept an abundance of prosperity flowing through my life. I give and receive joyously and lovingly. I am connected with divine wisdom. There is always an answer to every question, a solution to every problem. We are never lost, lonely, or abandoned in life, for we have this infinite wisdom and guidance constantly with us. Learn to trust it, and you will feel safe all your life. Daily I go within to connect with all the wisdom of the universe. I am constantly being led and guided in ways that are for my highest good and greatest joy. Today I look at life with fresh eyes. When out-of-town people come to visit, they always help me to see my everyday world through their new eyes. We think we have seen it all, and yet we miss so much that is immediately around us. In my morning meditations, I ask to see more and to understand more this day. My world is infinitely larger than I know. I am willing to see life in a new and different way, to notice things that I have not noticed before. A new world awaits my new vision. I am in step with today. Within each and every one of us is the intelligence to understand and use all the new and exciting electronic wonders that are filling our lives. And if we do have difficulty programming our VCR or computer, all we have to do is ask a child. All the children of today are electronically literate, as it has been said before, and the little children shall lead them. I am open and receptive to the new in life. I am willing to understand VCRs and computers and other wonderful electronic devices. I maintain my perfect weight. Junk foods and overly rich foods contribute to our ill health and overweight conditions. When we go for health and drop red meat and dairy and sugar and fat from our menus, then the body automatically goes to and settles at its perfect weight. Toxic bodies are fat. Healthy bodies are at the perfect weight. As we release toxic thoughts from our minds, our bodies respond by creating wellness and beauty. My mind and my body are balanced and in tune. I achieve and maintain my perfect weight easily and effortlessly. I am in tip-top shape. There was a time when we all ate natural healthy foods. Today we have to pick our way between the junk and processed non-foods to find simple healthy food. I have found that the simpler I eat, the healthier I am. Give your body the foods that grow and you will grow. I take loving care of my body, I eat healthful foods, I drink healthful beverages. My body responds by being in tip-top shape all the time. My animals are healthy and happy. I refuse to feed my six wonderful animals any junk or canned foods. Their bodies are as important as mine. We all take good care of ourselves. I lovingly communicate with my animals, and they let me know how I can make them happy, both mentally and physically. We live life joyfully together. I am in harmony with all of life. I have a natural green thumb. I love the earth, and the earth loves me. I do everything I can to make it rich and productive. Every plant I lovingly touch responds by growing forth in all its glory. House plants are happy, flowers are vibrantly beautiful, fruits and vegetables are abundant and delicious. I am in harmony with nature. This is a day of great healing. 
The mind that contributes to creating an illness is the same mind that can create wellness. The cells in our body are constantly responding to the mental atmosphere within us. Like people, they do their best work in a happy, loving environment. So fill your life with joy and you will be happy and healthy. I connect with the healing energies of the universe to heal myself and all those around me who are ready to be healed. I know that my mind is a powerful healing tool. I love and respect the elders in my life. The way we treat elders now is the way we will be treated when we become older. I believe that our later years can become our treasure years and that we can all become elders of excellence, living our lives in rich and full ways and contributing to the wellness of our society. I treat the elders in my life with the utmost love and respect, for I know that they are a wise and wonderful source of knowledge, experience, and truth. My vehicle is a safe haven for me. I always send love to angry drivers on the road. I'm aware that they don't know what they're doing to themselves. Anger creates angry situations. A long time ago, I gave up being angry at poor drivers. I'm not going to ruin my day because you do not know how to drive. I bless my car with love and send love ahead of me on the road. Because I do this, I seldom have angry drivers around me. They are off causing trouble for other angry drivers. I lovingly share the road and almost always arrive right on time no matter what the traffic is. We take our consciousness everywhere. Where you go, your mind goes, and it attracts like experiences. When I am driving my vehicle, I am completely safe, relaxed, and comfortable. I bless the other drivers on the road with love. Music enriches my life. We all dance to a different drummer and are fulfilled by different kinds of music. What is uplifting to one person can be a dreadful noise to another. I have a friend who plays meditation music for her trees and it drives her neighbors nuts. I fill my life with harmonious and uplifting music that enriches my body and soul. Creative influences surround and inspire me. I know how to quiet my thoughts. Time alone and inner time gives us the chance to renew our spirits, and inner time gives us the guidance we need. I deserve rest and quiet when I need it and I create a space in my life where I can go to get what I need. I am at peace with my solitude. My appearance reflects my love of self. Our clothes, our cars, and our homes reflect the way we feel about ourselves. A scattered mind will produce scattered objects everywhere. As we bring peace and harmony to our thoughts, our appearance and all our possessions automatically become harmonious and pleasing. I groom myself well every morning and wear clothes that reflect my appreciation and love of life. I am beautiful inside and out. I have all the time in the world. Time stretches when I need more and shrinks when I need less. Time is my servant and I use it wisely. Here and now, in this moment, all is well. I have plenty of time for each task that I need to perform today. I am a powerful person because I choose to live in the present moment. I give myself a vacation from work. We do our best work when we give ourselves short periods of rest. A five-minute break every two hours sharpens our minds. So too, vacation time benefits the mind and body. The workaholics who never rest or play become very intense people. They are seldom fun to be around. The child in us needs to play. If our inner child is not happy, then neither are we. 
I plan vacations for myself in order to rest my mind and body. I stay within my budget and always have a wonderful time. I return to work relaxed and refreshed. Children love me. We need contact with all the generations. Senior condos and retirement communities lack the laughter of children. Connecting with children keeps us young at heart. The little child in us loves to play with children. Children love me and they feel safe around me. I let them come and go freely. My adult self feels appreciated and inspired by children. My dreams are a source of wisdom. I always go to sleep with loving thoughts to lay the groundwork for the work I do in my dreams. Loving thoughts bring loving answers. I know that many of the questions I have about life can be answered as I sleep. I clearly remember my dreams when I wake up each morning. I surround myself with positive people. When we allow negative people to fill our lives, it becomes much harder to stay positive ourselves. So don't allow yourself to be dragged down with other people's negative thinking. Choose your friends with care. My friends and relatives exude love and positive energy, and I return these feelings. I know that I may have to release people from my life who are not supportive of me. I manage my finances with love. Every bill you pay is evidence that someone trusted in your ability to earn the money. So sprinkle love in all your financial transactions, including the IRS. Think of taxes as paying rent to the country. I write my checks and pay my bills with gratitude and love. I always have enough money in my bank account to take care of the necessities and luxuries in my life. I love my inner child. Daily connection with our inner child, the little one you once were, contributes to our wellness. At least once a week, take your inner child by the hand and spend some time with it. Do some special things together, things you loved to do when you were little. The child in me knows how to play and love and wonder. As I support this part of me, it opens the door to my heart and my life is enriched. I ask for help when I need it. Ask and ye shall receive. The universe lies in smiling repose, waiting for me to ask. It is easy for me to ask for help when I need it. I feel safe in the midst of change, knowing that change is a natural law of life. I am open to the love and support of others. Holidays are a time of love and joy. Gifts are wonderful to exchange, but even greater is the love you can share with everyone you meet. Celebrating holidays with my family and friends is always enjoyable. We always make time for laughter and express gratitude for the many blessings of life. I am patient and kind with everyone I encounter each day. Try thanking everyone you meet today for something. You will be delighted with how much it means to them. You will receive more than you give. I beam kind and loving thoughts to store clerks, restaurant workers, law enforcement personnel, and all others whom I encounter during the day. All is well in my world. I am an empathetic friend. When a friend comes to you with a problem, it doesn't necessarily mean they want you to fix it. Probably all they want is a sympathetic ear. A good listener is a valuable friend. I am in tune with other people's thoughts and emotions. I give advice and support to my friends when they ask for it and just listen with love when that is appropriate. My planet is important to me. Loving the earth is something we can all do. Our beautiful earth provides everything we need and we need to honor her at all times. Saying a small prayer for the earth every day 
is a loving thing to do. The health of this planet is very important. If we do not take care of our planet, where will we live? I bless this planet with love. I nourish the vegetation. I am kind to the creatures. I keep the air clean. I eat natural food and use natural products. I am deeply grateful for and appreciative of being alive. I contribute to harmony, wholeness, and healing. I know peace begins with me. I love my life. I love my world. Thank you for letting me share some ideas with you. This is Louise Hay, and I love you.